Hello, this is Chris Kelleher, W3CTK with the Delaware County Aries Races. And just going to show you a little bit about using the GPS functionality on the ICOM uh, D-Star, the uh, handheld uh, 51A, and then also the 4100A and 5100A. So you can see it. Whiskey, three, up. Charlie, Tango, Kilo. I just keyed up my handheld, and you can see that my base station here, the 5100, received the signal, and it popped up not only my call sign, but my GPS location. So how does all that work? So it's pretty neat. Um, basically, inside the head here um, is the GPS radio. Um, Whiskey, three, Charlie, Tango, Kilo just for a minute and basically um, so the GPS radio is in the head and it gets a signal from the satellites and that gets your position so if you go into the menu system uh, and the menu system for um, the 4100A and the 51A and the 5100 are all pretty much identical um, except for a few minor things but everything here is in this GPS menu, uh, and there's two pages. So GPS set, um, basically you want to make sure that your selected GPS is in your internal GPS. Um, you have the option, you can do a data cable and do an external, or you can set GPS manually, but the internal is usually um, your best option. Uh, remember the radio is in the head, so if you're inside in a basement, um, you know, you're not going to get the satellite coverage um, that you would if your um, unit is outside and you have better uh, signal strength with the satellite system. So to transmit my GPS coordinates, I use this menu option here, which is TX mode. Uh, you can turn this off or you can set it to DPRS or MN. NMEA, so I said to DPRS, um, use the default address and TX format, I have position. And basically, um, <clears throat> when you transmit, that means that it's going to send your GPS location out. Uh, GPS information, so this will show you where the satellites are overhead in comparison to where you are. Uh, the signal strength, so I have five satellites locked in. These five here with those signal strengths, and it sees a few more that it can't quite pick up. Um, I, I'm at 40 degrees, 2 minutes, 6 seconds north, and 75 degrees, 21 minutes, 25 seconds west. Um, if you actually go to Google Maps and type in 40 space 02 space 06N space 75 space 21 space 25W, um, it will map that address uh, out for you. So you can use those coordinates. Uh, you can also convert them from decimal um, minutes and seconds over to a, um, a decimal address. So 40 point... Um, four or five numbers. Uh, my uh, position also tells me my altitude. I'm at 480 some feet. Um, so here's my position. So again, it shows my coordinates north and west. Um, this is the grid location that I'm inside. Uh, and then if I were traveling, um, it could show me my course and my speed as well. Yeah, you can see this is, I'm sorry, let me arrow up. Uh, so this is my location, um, which you see is 400206. Um, and then if I actually go back down here, this is the location I sent from my handheld, which is, a, you know, basically the same location. Uh, but it shows you down here that it was RX, so it was received by W3CTK. So if somebody else keys up on this uh, 
system and they're sending their GPS location, I would be able to come in here and see uh, what their coordinates are. I'd also see their distance from me, their course and speed, and uh, right now they're, you know, to the northwest. So lots of great information in there. Um, so there's four pages. So the first page is my coordinates. Second page is um, last received transmission. Uh, this is a memory location, and then this is an alarm location. Um, so I won't get into GPS memories or alarms, but those are also things that you can play around with. Um, GPS logger is nice where uh, you log. Basically, you can turn it on or off. So I set this specifically to on, and I set it to 60 seconds. You know, it doesn't really need to be more often than that. Uh, but basically this will log my exact location to my memory card. So basically if I'm moving around uh, and I wanna see where exactly I was at 12 o'clock with my radio uh, because something happened and I need to know exactly what the address was of where that happened, um, I have that logged information. So. GPS logger, you should have an SD card in and turn that on definitely. Um, and set any interval, you know, one second to 60 seconds. Um, I think 60 seconds is more than enough and, you know, it'll use less data on your memory card. And then this last option is the auto transmit, which I turned on. So by default, it's off, but you can automatically transmit your GPS location. Um, so if you're tuned into a digital channel and you don't, um, you're not transmitting on a regular basis, but you still want your location to go out there, you can set that interval here. So if I were deployed somewhere, I might set that low to one minute. So every minute, um, you know, anybody who wanted to know where I was could get my GPS coordinates. Um, you know, on a regular day, maybe I'll set that down to like 10 minutes. But basically what that'll do is um, automatically, um, you know, on that interval, um, transmit my frequencies. Uh, sorry, transmit my GPS coordinates on the frequency. Uh, so hopefully that's a good overview of how the GPS system works and how it can be very useful. Um, you know, again, in, in um, emergency response situations, search and rescue, um, you know, the GPS functionality, having that turned on, having that um, activated um, is extremely useful. Um, if you're on a Skywarn net and you're in your car, you're driving around, you transmit a, you know, tree down, um, the person at net control can see your GPS coordinates and doesn't even have to ask you where you are or what your street address is. Um, they'll automatically know that. Uh, another thing to note is GPS in here is in uh, minutes and seconds. Um, the accuracy is, I would say, about 100, maybe 200 feet. So it's not going to put a dot right on your house like you might be used to if you're using your phone. Um, those are usually accurate to about 10 or 20 feet. Um, and you can usually get decimal coordinates down to uh, six, seven, eight decimal places. Um, here on the radio, the GPS is accurate enough to give somebody a good location fix, um, but it won't give your um, exact location. So that's all, something to keep in mind as well. So if you have any uh, comments or any questions on GPS functionalities, um, you know, please feel free to reach out and let me know and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks so much. Bye.